Hey guys, what's up? Well, uh, this is the second part for the same tutorial that is why do we need abstract classes. For the people who have watched the first part, you basically know that there are three classes, dog, cat, and bear. So, let me just do one more thing. Let me just make one more class. And um, name it as Fox. Okay, that, that sounds good. Okay, so basically, oh, uh, I have cat and I have bear and both of them like milk. So, in the cat, I'm gonna make it make a method that is milk, white milk. Wow. And I'm gonna I'm gonna write sys out and control space. I like milk. No, 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 no. I am a cat and I oops, like milk. Look at my spelling. I mean, what's wrong? I like milk. Okay, cool. And let me just go back to bear. And even he likes milk. So, uh, let me just make the same method and sis out and. I am a bear and even I like milk. Oh god. Oh god, this is gonna happen. Cool. Uh so basically both of them they use the same they have the same method. So basically what abstract I mean fox is a clever animal so it is things that to both of them once the same, I mean, both of them like the same thing, then why cannot I handle both of them? Like, uh, it's kind of confusing. Let me just write it abstract public class fox tool. So, what it does is it makes an abstract method and milk. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Cool. So, oh, oh, so <laughs> this is white. Cool. So this is white milk. So what it does, it he knows that there are two animals and they like milk. And I just, I mean, not two. I mean, there are few animals who like milk, and I'm just, I'm just gonna. I do not have the correct figure of who the animal or who they are and all the shitty things I don't even know. So I'm just gonna write that abstract white milk. I just know some people, some cats, some dogs, some animals they just like milk. I cannot I cannot do it. So uh, he just made an abstract wide method milk and what it does it extends fox. And even this extends fox. Well, luck! I told you in the last video that unless and until I make an object sound for some particular class, Java does not allocate any memory to that particular class. So let me just allocate memory to fox class. Yes, right. This equals new cat. Well, this is something known as polymorphism, and even object to sorry, it's equal to new bear pool. Okay, so these are basically the two. Um, what now? Okay, so there was something wrong with this compiler. I don't even know. So, okay, so basically this is fox object is equal to new cat, and fox object two is equal to new bear. So uh, yes, now what we can do is object dot milk and object to dot milk. Cool. So let me just run it now. Okay. I'm a cat. I like milk, and I'm a bear. And even I like milk. Okay. So it's running. So basically, what I did was. The bear class it contains two methods that is answer and milk, and the cat even this contains two methods that is y and milk. So if I wanna create an object for the class cat, 
I'm gonna have to allocate the memory for both of these methods and it's the same code from bear so I don't wanna do that I just wanna use the milk uh, this milk method from both the classes so what the fox taught is that I can handle that problem uh, what abstract basically does is what I basically did is I just allocated the memory for this particular class that is only for the method milk cool and that's why I have made the mem uh, I have made the memory allocation for the class fox and then I want to run the fox methods of the type dog do you get it I guess no I mean what this means is that I'm gonna allocate the memory for the fox class but I'm gonna run the methods of the type cat that is when I run object.milk it allocates the memory for this but it runs this milk method that is this basically this method is now stamped on this one I mean uh, this method has replaced this method so basically this is how I saved them a lot amount of memory well basically uh, just one more thing I don't I don't when there are me I mean I don't need to do this for every cat and bear I don't need to make objects for every class out there so what I can do is make an class array so that's gonna be fox uh, 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 object is equal to new object sorry new fox and that's gonna be two cool okay cool so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say object one is equal to a uh, 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 new cat cool and the second object of zero is equal to new uh, uh, bear that's cool so now I'm gonna run it and i is equal to zero and i is less than object dot land who had i plus plus cool and within that I can simply run object dot object of i dot build and let me just run it now and there are I got it I'm a bear and even I like milk and I'm a cat I like milk so basically you can see the ordered object zero is bear and the object one is cat that's why the bear is on the first line so whatever uh, this is a use of abstract classes we can basically defi define this abstract void milk because the fox just knows that he needs to handle this problem but he doesn't know that how many pe how many animals are gonna deal with this problem so basically he just declared abstract milk and now all this uh, cat and bear can modify it in their own way and then it can um, I mean we can just make the we can just allocate memory to the fox and can run all these methods so basically the fox doesn't wanna run its own version of milk if he just wanna do I mean this good I mean he just wanna do it for the others so that's why this is an abstract that's why we declared abstract so basically this is need and this is why we use abstract and I just hope you got something from this video and if not feel free to comment and ask me if there's any doubt and if you don't like this video don't forget to hit the thumbs up button but if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more cool anyway thanks this is Nerdness and love you